Hello there, um, Dr. Keller here. If you're watching this, it means you just got done with the shoulder surgery. And so, first of all, I wanna thank you for entrusting in me, um, your arm and this injury, and uh, we'd like to bring you through and show you a few things in regards to your post-operative care. The first thing we wanted to talk about was your dressing. So this is a standard dressing that's placed on the shoulder after your surgery. Um, this is to stay on for three days. Once you have it on for three days, we can then take it off. Another thing you'll see up here is also what you're gonna have in your shoulder, which is also a block that the anesthesia puts in for you. And there'll be a little bit of stuff to do with that as well. Let's start first with your shoulder dressing. So it's really quite easy. We tape on uh, some different dressings. So three days after you go through and you take it off. It consists of a thing which we call an ABD pad and some four by fours. There might be a little bit of drainage on that, but besides that, you should be able to take that off. Underneath are things called steri strips, and you'll have these little poke holes. And we get to do your whole surgery through these poke holes. And the goal with these are to leave these on while you shower. So now, once you have your dressing off three days after your surgery, you leave your steri strips on and you can shower. Should you have any sort of drainage or anything like that, just grab a simple gauze pad from uh, CVS or something like that, and you can place it on there just to make sure your clothes don't get any sort of drainage on them. Above that, is a, a, where your block is gonna be located. And this is what's gonna help numb up your shoulder to limit your pain. This is put on by anesthesia service and really you have a little um, catheter that goes into your neck that supplies pain medicine uh, to the nerves that go to the shoulder. Normally once this block stops working, which could be same day as your surgery or up to three days after your surgery, you take it off. The way you take it off is this is a, an adhesive dressing um, made of a thing called Tangoderm and you grab it and you slowly pull it off like this. Underneath is your catheter piece and all you have to do is pull straight out and it comes right out without any pain. So next I'd like to go over what you can do with your arm right after the surgery. So you have your sling on and the goal is, of the sling is to protect you so you don't move in uh, different directions that can actually injure the repair that we just did. But we do want you to move your fingers and your wrist often in your sling in order to make sure your fingers and your wrists don't get stiff. We also want you to get out of your sling for about three to four times a day in order to show some elbow motion. So you simply just need to unstrap your sling this way and then slowly come out and move your elbow up and down. Really it's just to make sure your elbow doesn't get tight and stiff because once again we operate on your shoulder not your elbow so we don't want your elbow to be injured in any way because of the surgery. Finally, I just want you to take a, a second to think about our goals here. Our goals are to have that muscle heal that we just repaired. So we don't want you to lift your arm up in these ways because that's how that muscle fires and that could potentially pull your repair off. So that's why we keep you in the sling. That's why we want you to get out just to move your elbow and wrist. And then when you shower, the goal is to just keep your arm by your side. As long as you're not firing with your arm up in the air like this, you should be just fine.